Okay, guys, we are live, and uh, I have been kind of uh, AWOL this week and not doing a lot of um, live shows and, um, um, you know, listing shows or really anything. I haven't posted anything this week. Um, of course, it's only Wednesday. But I thought I would show you guys about 50 items that I bought from um, from thrifting yesterday with Chris. And um, we're going to check to see who's in the chat here in just a second. But I spent about, I spent about $170, but I'm going to show you about $140 worth of items. And um, it's just under $1,000. It ended up being $949 worth of potential profit. That's if I get asking price. So we'll just see what happens. Uh, we've got Chris in the chat. Hey, Chris, glad that you made it. Um, I know you're having lunch with mama and aunt. So I hope that was fun. Um, Margo with uh, Florida's Hidden Treasures is here. Hey, how are you doing? Uh, Tracy thrifts it says, damn it. I'm not first today. And she usually is. So, um, you know, Ricky Bobby says, if you ain't first, you're last. However, I don't subscribe to that particular um, philosophy. So as long as you're here, that's what counts to me. Josh Cable is here. Hey, Josh, happy, happy Valentine's Day to everybody. Uh, oh, and Tracy's saying she like, likes my Millennium Falcon shirt. Um, can't keep the nerd inside. Got to let, let wear the nerd on the outside a little bit. Kathy Eller is with us. Hi, Kathy. Um so uh, I'm just glad you guys are here and I hope that you're getting your listing done and, and sales are coming in. Um, I think I shipped five, five this morning. Um, I had about a hundred and forty dollar day yesterday, I think. So um, I wish I wish I could hit that every day. I wish that was happening. Um, Nana Beth is here. Uh, Chris says it was a lovely lunch, but for her, no meat because it's Ash Wednesday. Um, well, I'm having a no meat day two today, not because you, not because it's Ash Wednesday, but just because I didn't feel like cooking anything. So um, we're even having bean soup for dinner. So Josh says that he had a hundred and eighty dollar day yesterday. It was unusual, but great. I know they feel so good. Um, I like those chichings. Uh, yesterday when I was with Chris, she um, we were ha we were having lunch. And she accepted an offer and her phone never cha-chinged. I don't know. It may have cha-chinged on the way home, but it, <clears throat> she didn't get the cha-ching while we were sitting there at lunch, which is unfortunate. So I'm going to show you guys some hits and some misses because um, I don't always look everything up and I just kind of go with, mm, that looks like a good idea. And um, um, I don't have a fantastic, oh my gosh, I... Um, you know, I bought such an incredible item. Not really. I bought a lot of bread and butter stuff. Um, I tried to, um, <laughs> Tracy's, Chris says it never changed. And Tracy says, yep, yeah, I got an automatic approved return today. Ooh, those are fun. Um, but uh, hopefully that'll work itself out. But um, I tried to stay away from $10 items. I do have a few in here. Um, I, I don't know why, but I bought a lot of $15 items and, and up, but I don't think that I have anything that, that ended up being maybe over like $30. So a lot of bread and butter stuff, but, um, I don't think a tremendous amount of, of, um, of long tail. There's a little bit of long tail stuff, but I don't think most of it is long tail. So I picked this up. How funky is that? I probably am I'm toying with selling this without the frame just from a shipping perspective because that's going to take it from first class to um, like a priority. Uh, but I, pay, so I don't know. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do yet. Um, if somebody wants to pay, it's, a, it's the frame is decent. So if somebody wants to pay, um, the uh, shipping for that, then I will, I'll will certainly sell it to them. But um, this is like a nice, like Asian Mount Fuji kind of thing. Um, 
you know, it's, it's done in the scale of someone that does paint by numbers and it doesn't need to be cleaned a little bit. And I'll do my best not to disturb the paint, but, um, again, 69 cents. Can you, be, can you beat that? And again, I'll try and get about $20 out of it. If I sell it with the uh, frame, I may price it up just a little bit more. Let's see. Um, Josh says, you know, I was uh, saying no to $10, $10 items, but if I get them almost free, I just don't mind, you know? Um, and that's usually my, um, my rule. If they're really cheap and if they're really easy to list and ship, I don't mind buying those $10 items. I was just, I'm just, I've got so many in my store right now that I'm really looking for those higher dollar items. Um, but again, I hate walking past money. Um, Tracy said, maybe they'll forget to send her return back. Chris said, um, have you heard the baseball expression that ba that base hits win games, not home runs? It is true. It is true. Absolutely. Um, Chris says she has too much inventory to buy $10 items. She's unlisted inventory and she does have a lot. Um, there's still a little shame in her shed, but it's coming along. She is making strides on it. Um, so let's see, I bought this, I kind of bought this for me. Um, this is a Sunbeam carousel rotisserie. So it's like a Ronco rotisserie oven, except it stands straight up and down. And I bought this because, well, a couple of reasons. For one, it was $2.99 because it was marked down. Um, it's not in the best condition. It's got some, like, some staining on the top. But I want to try and make shawarma in this. And if you don't know, I know I've probably told you before, shawarma is that uh, marinated meat that they put on the, the, the spit that the up, you know, the vertical spit and it rotates and they cut the meat off as it's cooking, you know, as it, as it's done. And it's wonderful. <laughs> it's so delicious. Um, I'm going to try and make it in this and um, see if I can do it. And if I can, I might keep this, although it's a really bulky appliance just for that one food. Although I can do chickens in it, but dang, I can buy a rotisserie chicken at Sam's for five bucks already cooked. So I don't know. But um, otherwise, I think I can get about $30 for this. So this is $3 into 30. There's not a lot of accessory to this. Um, like there are, there are with the Ronco. There's usually a couple of other pieces. This basically just has the, the round, um, carousel piece in the oven so um but i think i can get about 30 bucks for that even probably even if i sell it locally um so pick this up this is a cuisinart two to go like dual cup coffee maker and i paid 4.99 for this and this doesn't go for all that much about 20 dollars. but i'm gonna try and get about 35 dollars out of this um, $15 for each replacement cup. And then this basket, um, no, about $10 each for re re each replacement cup. And this basket sells for about 15. So I don't know if there's other pieces I can rob off this. Um, certainly if there are, I will, but, um, yeah, I'm intending to part that out. And then this is fabulous. Um, this is made by Regal and it is a 10 to 30 cup urn, coffee urn, and it's plastic. Uh, and it's got this wonderful shape. Look at that retro shape that, well, it's vintage. It's not retro. Um, and it's got the cool little crowns on it. This thing is pristine inside. I don't know if they've ever made a pot of coffee in it. Um, I paid two dollars and 99 cents for it it doesn't go that much for that much on ebay maybe 15 bucks part of it is because of the shipping this is pretty big um but i'm gonna try and sell this either locally or on etsy and try to get 20 to 25 out of it because that's just fun i couldn't leave it i mean i really couldn't leave this let's see what's happening here let's see i don't want to miss the chat that's the fun part um, Josh says he can definitely relate to Chris's, um, inventory shame. Nanabeth says, so jealous of you, um, all I sell crafting supplies. So I'm lucky to get $1 profit off of each item. Nanabeth, maybe start trying time to start adding a couple of different items. Josh says, um, Nana, try lighting them up so you can, 
put more into one package and save on shipping. She goes, yeah, I get a lot of multi-item orders, so that helps her profit margin. Um, Margo says that the rotisserie is nice and she'd like one. Um, Tracy says, woo, I just sold a Texas... Uh, Texas Instruments 30XS calculator to someone in Azerbaijan, um, Azerbaijan, Azerbaijan, I can't say it, <laughs> uh, Republic. And I even know somebody from there and I can't say it. Um, they told me that they need it by the 22nd. Yes, the 22nd. <laughs> they need they need help with more than just math. Yes, logistics are an, an issue. Um, I mean, it's possible, but not likely that you're going to get it there by then because really it's not at your discretion whatever global shipping is going to do um if that's the way you're going to ship it so um i don't know if you guys know about these but i do pick these up whenever i see them they're a little bit of a pain to ship because they're just so big but they're lightweight and they typically if you can uh, package them safely like with cardboard around them you can usually get them done for first class not always but these are beyblade arena arenas this one is missing a little plastic disc that fits in the middle but i've sold them without it before um this one will go for about 15 dollars and this one will go for about 20 dollars even though they have a little bit of condition issue if you can see right there like the base gets cracked and this one's cracked in two places but i still think i can get about 20 for it um but yeah the beyblade stuff is trending down but it's still selling so if you don't know what beyblade is it's actually these plastic and metal tops that you let loose in those arenas and they battle it out um i don't know exactly how you win at that but whatever the uh, boys seem to love on that Let's see what else we've got here. So I've sold one of these before and I picked this up in the Goodwill outlet. So everything that I got from the Goodwill outlet um, after I took out things that we were keeping or they were going to be um, part of Azerbaijan, I said it, <laughs> um, as they were going to be, uh, everything that was going to sell i factored into the price of everything that i bought if that makes sense so i took the total of what i spent i i were <clears throat> i removed the items that i wasn't selling physically and i took I still left the total the same and then i s divided the number of items i'm selling into that total gosh um i wouldn't want to follow those directions but that means that for the items that I got from the Goodwill outlet, I paid $1.80 each. So even though I didn't really pay $1.80 for those, um, those Beyblade arenas, because they're so lightweight, I factored, you know, the same amount for everything. So I also, <laughs> sort of, I uh, sort of did math, but I also spent $1.80 on this, which is much more um, heavy. It would have cost much more. Okay. Isn't that where they lock up the wizards, the bad wizards? Whatever. Uh, first time sending something there, I believe. Hope it doesn't turn out crappy. Zero fee uh, feedback buyer. It doesn't mean it will, but um, hopefully it goes well. Let's see. Uh, anyway, let's get back to this nativity. So, these nativity pieces are made in Taiwan, but I've sold this set, a similar set before, and um, they actually look pretty decent. Um, I mean, the paint's not bad, and then you get to this guy, and uh, I don't know if this is a result of king louis or something but um he's got a little damage and i've got a a little bit of a, a little bit of damage on the horn right there but um i still think i can get about twenty dollars i do have his head i still think i can get about twenty dollars 
if I sell this complete, um, it does have the crèche inside the manger um, together. I, I may be able to, I don't know if I will, I probably could make more if I parted it out just because those pieces break over time. But um, I'll have to think about that before I commit to, because, you know, I don't want those long tail pieces sitting around forever. Um, this is a Windmere. If you remember that brand, this is a Windmere um, Gentle Curls 24 hair setter. And it, I got it for the low, low price of 69 cents because uh, they mark down like three times, I think. And then it goes to nine cents. And then I guess after that point, they, or maybe it goes up to down to 29 cents. Cause like, let me show you why I love this store. Let me see what it started at. If I can get it apart quickly, cause I've got a lot of items to go through. Let's see what's happening. Tracy's going to have a thick ribeye for dinner tonight. We're having bean soup with no meat and rice. With rice and no meat. So they had it priced at $5.99. And then they marked it down. It doesn't It's not dated, so you don't know how often they mark things down. Then they marked it down to $2.99. And then down to $0.69. Cents. And then the cheapest price that I've ever seen in the store is $0.09. Cents. So this was marked down to $0.69. Cents. And I have not opened it yet, but... I can hear the pins in there. I'm almost thinking it's new, but um, I thought, well, nothing else for 69 cents. I can sell the pins out of there because I usually do 15 bucks for the pins until I look this one up and I think I can get about 30 bucks for it. And it, and it's one that sells regularly. So I'm pretty excited about that. I have to see what the condition is given that the box is crushed, but um, um, it's still not too bad. Uh, 69 cents into 30 bucks. I'll take that. Okay, so I bought this. Um, go ahead, laugh at me. I don't care. This is some pop art from, I don't know, this might be from like the, this might be from like the 80s. I'm thinking the 80s. I'd have to really research to see when this style of can um, was or whatever. But this is one of those whirly gig things that you put out in your front yard. And um, I paid $4.99 for the pair of them. Too much. But I couldn't just see them going into a landfill after somebody's people um, made these. So I'm going to try and sell these locally because I don't want to try and ship. This is aluminum can. So it's going to, you know, bubble wrap will bend the crap out of it. I just, I'm going to try and sell them locally and try and get 20 bucks for them. But I think that somebody will see the, the pop art, tramp art kind of value in them and uh, be willing to pay for those. So <clears throat> plus they're vintage. Those, um, those uh, can designs aren't around anymore. Uh, let's see. Let's see what's going on. Oh, uh, Margo, I don't think I even said where I went. I did go to Goodwill Outlet and Valley Thrift in Kettering, Ohio. Um, Chris says, if you ever see the beer case hats, buy them. Do you mean the beer? Are they made from? I've seen the ones that are made from like parts of the beer uh, of a beer can and they're crocheted together. Is that the ones we're talking about? Um, Chris says her friend Lisa works at a small airport and she'd love those on her death desk. Jim Coon Cat is with us. Hello from Maine. Hey, Jim, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. Let me grab another tub from over there. Mm. They're made from the cardboard beer case. Okay. Um, I actually saw those when I was, I didn't pay attention to like what they, what they brought. But I did see some of those when I was looking up the pop art. Um, Stuffs. All right. So somebody help me out if you know this. Um, I bought this brand new 31. Um, it's called the Hang On uh, Family Organizer. And this is the large one that can sell for about $35 shipped. This one is missing the marker, but it's not that big a deal. 
Is there, a, is 31 Vero, do you know, has anybody dealt with that, with 31 being Vero? Because I don't want to sell something. If it is, I will just do $20 um, local if it is. I feel like I've, I've sold the uh, used purse before, but I don't know about selling a new item. So I don't want to get into a Vero situation. Um, so I was just asking if you know off the top of your head. If not, I'll check. This is a Presto Pizza Pizzazz um, turntable tray. Um, and it's for that pizza oven. And it uh, I paid 99 cents for this. And I think I can get about 25 bucks for it. You know, I love my replacement parts. Let's see. Let's see what's happening here. Um, yeah, Josh is up in New Hampshire. We got all, all practically all of New England is, is uh, joining us. Um, let's see. Are we there yet? Hello from Arizona. Uh, you you never do seem to, seem to make the live shows, but I'm glad you're here today. Um, let's see. Am I having technical issues, Josh? Is something happening with me, technically speaking? Um, so, let's see. It's Motorola phone. I bought, I paid $1.99 for and it's just the handheld cordless phone. It's not a um, a cell phone or anything. But I think I can get twenty dollars out of these. And um, I've got three of the four phones that come with it. Oh, you hit the pause. Oh, well, for once, it's not me because normally it's just me doing stuff like that. Holly picked this up yesterday. It is uh, 2000 something, 2006 maybe, 2014 out in the um, Little People Barn and Silo. And there's some of the figures with it. And that's going to make some kid happy. Um, she, we paid five bucks for this. And I'm going to sell that locally for $20 because I don't want to ship it. Um, I got this in a bag of stuff. And I gave Holly all of the other stuff. And it's kind of gross. I'm going to have to wash it up. But it looks nice and clean on this side. This is made by OXO or OXO, whichever way you choose to say it. Good grips. And this is one of those safe edge um, can openers. And um, I paid $1.99 for the bag. All of the other stuff went to Holly. I just kept this. And I think I can do about 20 Alexa's up there talking. Um, about $20 on that. And I picked these up. Same here, Monkey Stein, always a lurking. Uh, I love selling little people too. They're always fun. And Jim says that he had good luck with farm related toys last Christmas. I got these Pokemon VHS. I only paid 50 cent, 58 cents for all four of these. And this one, I choose you, Pikachu, sells for about $15 new. I'm going to try and sell the four of them together for about 15. See if I can get that. They may be a little long tail. I don't know. We'll see. This is a set of Clairol hot rollers. Um, it's a set of eight. And these sell for about $15 a set. Now, all my prices are plus shipping. Because I don't offer free shipping anymore. I just don't do it. Um, this is a P-Touch that Holly found, and it's a label and laminator, labeler and laminator, and this will go for about 15 bucks once I test it, and I paid 99 cents for this. Um, it would go for more, but we don't have the, uh, the power cord to it, but I still think I can get about 15 for it. And I paid 69 cents for this and sometimes my fails are not always fails um let's see margo margo says do you think you'll get more money parting out a cure a cure egg or selling it whole it depends on the cure egg really um newer you might get more selling it as a whole one of the older models you might do better parting it out 
Um, hey, Kath, how are you doing? Thanks for joining us. Um, so um, I get this home. I paid 69 cents for it. Not that big a deal, right? Except I couldn't tell the way it was taped that the battery door is missing, which is a problem, right? Which means there's no battery. I can't test this for any reason. So um, I always, always, always look to see if there's any value in anything else. And actually, this um, phone base kit will sell with for 16 bucks. And I am going to, it looks like, I don't know, for whatever reason, there's some nail polish in there. I'm going to clean that out with some nail polish remover. But yeah, um, six bucks, 16 bucks. So yeah, always check to make sure that, you know, if, if you can't sell it as a whole, that you try and part it out. Josh is saying if it's not 2.0, leave it. Um, it, I would, it would depend on how many, uh, how many parts I would check when you're looking at them, I would check to make sure there are parts that will sell and that they sell fairly regularly. Hey, Amalia, thanks for being here. I appreciate it. Let's see. All right. Down here, let me put my empty tub there. So, um, I picked this up yesterday. This is a sharp, the sharper image. It's called a um, portable anywhere speaker. And uh, I paid $1.99 for it. I couldn't find any when I was searching. And happy Valentine's Day to you, Kath. Thanks. Um, you already have it, so there's no leading, uh, leaving it. It's for a consignment customer. Um, if you don't mind, throw up uh, what the model is and um, maybe we can get give you some feedback on it um, if you know and it's fine um, so I can't find any solds on this and the problem is it's not a Bluetooth speaker it's you have to have a jack which would be great if you just had an iPod that you're gonna plug in and and leave with it not like your phone but um, I don't know. I may just try to do local $10 or something like that for this. I always try to correct my mistakes if I can. Speaking of mistakes, oh, here's a, this is called a New York Times recipe maker. And I think I get about 10 bucks for this. It's, uh, I paid 69 cents for it. Obviously they do better new, 12 shipped, but I just grabbed that off the shelf. So I paid $1.99 for this little lot of stuff. Um, hi, Diane. Diane Grandstaff is with us. And this had, um, sorry, it's kind of noisy. This had uh, two different, very different things in it. One was the set of eight um, hooks for a baker's, uh, for a pot rack. And I think they look very similar to the ones that are on my pot, pot rack. So I may keep these just for what ifs in the future. Um, if not, I think I can sell this for 10 bucks. Uh, Mama J, I went to a Goodwill outlet and I went to um, a Valley Thrift in Kettering, Ohio. And thanks for being here, by the way. There was also... Um, Two sets of beaters and a set of dough hooks and it will take me a few minutes to search these and find them i'll have to do some research it won't be too bad uh first i'll or i will search my own inventory and see if i've already got a pair that i've identified and um and then if not i'll do some google searches but i believe i can get about 35 dollars um out of what's in here i'll sell it individually of course but should be able to get about 35 dollars out of those all you have is a serial number. Is that what I'm looking for? It should tell you what type of Keurig it is. Um, maybe on the bottom. Um, I picked this up. And it is just a gigantic tote. Um, there's nothing There's nothing in here that identifies what the maker is or anything like that. So I don't think it's anything really special but I thought it was cute it's got a little wood uh, zipper pull 
and a little embellishment on the strap. And it's a pretty nice size tote. It's canvas, it feels like. Um, it's got a little cell phone um, thing there. And it, the subject matter is cute. So it's bears and it's patriotic. Um, it's also ships. So I thought I might be able to get about 15 bucks out of that. And I paid 29 cents. Okay, that out of the way. Um, I bought, this was just in a bin um, at the Goodwill outlet. And I, of course I know what this is immediately. It is a Ronco rotisserie, um, like the barbecue spit that goes inside um, their rotisserie oven. And these will go for, I think, about 20, 20 or 25. Let's see if I wrote it down. I'm sure that I wrote it down. Oh, um, this will go for about 20. Thankfully, that's metal. Uh, 29 cents. Yeah. Um, they are really cool. Uh, it's a valley. It's a valley thrift, I think. It's not Value Village. It's not the same. It's Valley Thrift. Um, it is the same though, because it's really good. eBay for Business is live right now. If anyone wants to watch it on another on another device, Tracy is uh, multitasking, and I'm sorry that I went live at the same time. I uh, picked up this VTech phone and should be able to get about 20 bucks for that and um, $1.99 on those. Check out the color on this guy. This is a General Electric immersible per percolator. It looks like it's all there. And uh, I paid $1.99 for this. And I think this will go for 25 bucks and I did not see any listed in this color or sold in this color. So I may go up on the price a little bit. Um, I didn't know what these were. Yeah, that's really retro. Um, that color is just amazing. So I found this and I had no idea what it was, but after some, a little bit of research, thankfully this is in here. These are um, like the grips that um, people use for the uneven bars and the parallel bars um, gym, for gymnastics. And uh, I got these at the Goodwill outlet. So let's factor in $1.80. And I believe they go for, come on. Just trying to see where I may have written that down. Um, oh well, I think I think they were they were twenty bucks is what I could get for these because I don't know where I wrote it down now. Of course, I can't find it. I need a personal secretary and a couple of million dollars. Wouldn't it be nice if I had that? Um, same color as uh, your washer and dryer of almost thirty years which were very old when you got them. Um, yeah, that's a very, that's a really, really old color. Um, so this is a, um, like a kitchen organizer, knife block kind of thing from Ikea. Uh, of course it's going to be heavy. So it's going to probably ship in a, uh, two, uh, a region a I'm guessing. Um, but I think I can get, about 15 bucks for this and I paid 29 cents for it. I swear I didn't buy all this $15 stuff on purpose. Um, this VTech, oh, not this one. This is the Motorola. This is called a Quadrastation 2.4 and it's a phone charging station that came in a bag of stuff that I paid um, $1.99 for. I can get $10 for this. And then I don't see this particular model 
a phone, but this is also a Quadra Station 2.4. I'm going to try and get about $20 out of that. Again, I paid $1.99 for both of those cards. Uh, there's the charger for it. And then I, I have Holly put this uh, really pretty uh, cross stitch in the cart. Look how pretty that is. Um, it was 99 cents. And uh, I did, didn't do any research on this because it's empty. We bought an empty package. We bought garbage. But that's my fault. I didn't check it. Um, our bins. Our bins are pretty expensive. Chris, do you remember how much the prices were yesterday? Because it, it varied a little bit. Like, I know that Chris bought a pair of boots, like a big... Uh, no, I don't even think they're that much, Josh. I paid a dollar eighty per item once I just factored in how many items I kept out of everything I bought for um, resale. But it, I think it's like it might be a dollar twenty nine a pound. Oh, Chris has a receipt. Um, but Chris bought this big pair of like Cabela's boots, rubber heavy. If the boots weigh over four pounds, you only pay three dollars. Um, so they do do some stuff like that. Glassware is different. Um, books are different. Books are like 49 cents a pound, I think. Um, they do clothing a little different. Um, so they do sort out some stuff, but it's not super expensive. The one here in Columbus is a dollar 49 or a dollar 59. So it's a little bit, it's a, it's more. Um, but, um, yeah, the one in Kettering is not not real bad. Um, I did pull this Ronco rotisserie knob off of an oven that was in there that um, that were uh, it was junked. But this will be um, ten bucks plus shipping. Yeah, three bucks for those boots. Yeah, they did all of the they do their clothing. And then I pulled this. This is the tray, the bottom tray for the Ronco. It's like the drip tray, but the great part is missing. So I think that's not great. I think um, I probably won't sell that. I don't know. It's not too bad. Uh, not too bad about middle cost compared to where I've heard. Ours is 99, and if it's lar uh, larger than five pounds, it's a flat. It is flat rate five. So that's that's good because there's some stuff in the bins. It was never going to sell because it was just way too heavy. There was um like a um, huge bag of fish tank gravel. Um, and it there's no way that was going to sell. Let's see. Chris says most well wares are 79 cents a pound of ours. It, it was not, it's not bad there. Just because of the prices, I have to be careful about what I buy because I'll just buy junk. Love to be able to just take the parts off a Ronco like that. Well, you can at the Goodwill outlet. You can't at the you can't at the Goodwill stores though. Uh, scavenging parts off the appliances at Goodwill is frowned upon, quite frankly. Um, let's see. Let's see what I've got here. I don't know why I did this backwards, but I did. Okay, so I looked this up while I was at the bins yesterday. This is a knee brace. And I thought I had the $35 one. Uh, fortunately, this is pretty light. But I don't have the $35 one. I have like the $20 one. Um, and it's in pretty good shape. I'll clean it up a little bit with like a lint, lint brush. Um, and I will sell that. If, if I can, I'm going to get this down in one of those um, two boxes. We'll see. So again, $1.80 for that because it was at the the goodwill outlet if you carry a screwdriver of course yes chris saved me on that knob because she did have a screwdriver and uh it was handy so this i've never seen before this is from lorena garcia it's really pretty it is a mixer let me see if i can that um is adjustable like that and then the tools would come in this box except I don't have the bottom of this box this was taped all together so when I took it apart today there was a suspicious burnt motor smell on this mixer so I doubt I will be selling this mixer um, but 
uh, and I paid $8.99 for it, but I think I'm going to sell the dough hooks, the whips, the beater. I've got, yeah, I've got the beaters and this, and I'll still, I should still easily do 30, probably 40, because I don't think there are any parts available for this. So that's what I'm going to try and do on this, but it might just be, sometimes old sewing machines will still like that, will smell like that. It might be fine. I will test it, but um, I'm, I'm a little caught suspicious about it. I am. So, but yeah, it was a really pretty appliance. I'd never heard of her either. Lorena Garcia. She could be a QVC or a HSN or something like that. Um, and let's see what else we got. I bought these refrigerator filters. Paid $1.99. And I should be able to get, I believe, let's see, uh, 25 bucks for these. Um, this is a universal remote that is actually new. Um, $10 probably shipped. But I think we paid 29 cents for that. 69 cents for that. Um, I bought this roll of, of wallpaper border for 69 cents. But I already have a roll. So I'm going to put this with the other roll and I increase the price a little bit. So maybe it will sell. But it's really pretty. It's kind of like a... Um, oh, no. I don't have this one. But even better, it is gorgeous. Um, it is gorgeous uh, lighthouses. I'm glad that I looked at that. I'll probably try and get about 12 to 15 out of that. And um, that should sell pretty quick because lighthouses always do really well for me. Um, I picked this up and a lady put it back because she goes, well, I was going to get that, but that, I think that teapot's broken. Okay. First of all, um, you're a pretty girl. Uh, that's that's about all you got going for you. Because there is no damn spout. Sorry for my language. There's no spout on this teapot. Because this is a bamboo pot. This is a pot for planting bamboo. Isn't that pretty? And I paid $1.99 for it. I think I can get about $20 for it. Yeah, Tammy, you're absolutely right that... that um, that lighthouse wallpaper will be pretty for a cottage or a condo on, on the ocean. And if someone can arrange for me to get a cottage or a condo on the ocean, I'll put the border up for free. For real, I'll do that. Uh, Chris says she just sold two rolls of, of wallpaper border for $30. Sweet. That's nice. So I bought two of these. These are light fixtures. Or as I like to call them, ceiling boobs. But... Um, this has a very, very vintage look to it um, with the way this finial is and the way these cutouts are. I think it's vintage. I don't think it's as old as I believed it was at first. And um, I think these might even be as early as the 80s, maybe maybe later than that. But um, I can't find anything similar. I think I'm just going to put the pair of them. I don't know if I should put the pair. I think I'll make one listing with a quantity of two um and well i mean like the one i have in the kitchen is like that tan with the cream color it's kitchen boob it's a definitely a ceiling boob but anyway i think i'm going to do a quantity of two on these and i think i'm just going to price them at around 30 bucks um because i can't really find a good comp um and i need i need I need words for this. So um, I, I'm, I paid five bucks a piece for those. Um, I'm not going to count those as a hit or a miss. I don't know what's going to happen with those. Um, Kath is saying, yes, the, it's a beautiful bamboo, bamboo pot, but there's no sprout. I know. And I'm halfway tempted. Just go buy me a piece of lucky bamboo and pot it. Uh, Yolanda Comprin is with us. Just picked up five rolls, all sealed of Raggedy Ann and Andy Border. Uh, starting my eBay shop next week. Suggestions uh, for asking price. That is so exciting. Um, 
that you're it's so ex uh, exciting that you're just starting your eBay store. Um, I mean, I'm really excited for you. Uh, gosh, as far as asking price, I mean, I probably would do some research and and see if you can find that particular wallpaper border sold before. And if you can't find it on um, if you can't find it on eBay sold, so I'm assuming that you know how to do research. If you don't tell us, we'll tell you how. Um, so um, you can also try a website. It's free called pick click i know this because my friend nancy thomas that just showed up told me about this website p-i-c-c-l-i-c-k.com um and it will show you older comps and um yeah there's a there's a there's a lot of variables here uh she says she doesn't she did her research um if it's sealed can you tell us who made it and what the um what the number is on it so maybe one of us can do some research for you or you can go into the Facebook group. If you're a part of that, if you're a part of that, and if you're not get over there and join, um, and we will help you do some research on that. Uh, Yolanda. Um, yeah, it, it's, there's, I mean, uh, it, and Chris is right. I'm just all over the place. So I'm so excited. Um, uh, Chris is right. Could be a multiple quantity listing where you list it. You set it as good till canceled. You put your asking price in there. You decide whether you want best offer or not. That's up to you. You decide whether you want to do free shipping or not. That's up to you. And um, uh, I will. Um, and then you can just put the quantity of five. And that way a person can buy exactly how much they need. That's probably the best way to go. Oh, I'm so excited for you. Uh, let's see. We've got two more tubs of stuff. To, nope, I just put that one back. I got one more stuff. One more time of stuff. Okay. Yeah. So we'll get you we'll get you sorted out. Um, as soon as we have a, a point of reference of the maker and so we can try to find the exact one. Um this is called Kaponk. And it's basically a throw the ball or the eyeball into the cup. This is the Halloween version, I believe. It's called Let It R.I.P. And uh, it's just a game. I got it at the outlet. And I'm going to try and get about 15 bucks for that. Um, I didn't see really any solds on that one. We'll just see. All righty. So this is a little tiny Hitachi um rice cooker this is the smaller size this one doesn't sell as often but i pay 2.99 for this one i think i can get about 40 bucks out of it if i cannot if i can't get it to sell i'm going to sell the lid and the insert and the cord and still get 30 30 something like that yolanda says gracias so we say de nada all of us to you at once. It was really loud. I'm sorry you missed it. I got this bag because I wanted to show you um, a bolo. This bag is not going to be resold. I have a feeling because it is damaged. You see like this staining that may have happened in production. I don't know. But um, this is a fabulous bag, by the way. And it is made by a designer called Barbara Rill, R-I-H-L, Paris. And um, these bags cost about $65 new. Show you that. And uh, just something for you to look for in your travels. I don't know that these would be highly counterfeited they're not she's not that well known as far as i know i never heard of her before but i think i might keep this bag for myself um it's kind of an, a vinyl kind of feel uh, a textured vinyl so i don't know if there's anything i can do to get this the staining out but i might try Who knows? i may not but i might but i may not but i could but i probably won't um, okay, so let's take a look at this. 
I bought this little guy at the bins. Um, and he is pristine. Um, this is Groot for you, for those of you who don't know Groot. He's from Guardians of the Galaxy, which is fantastic. Watch one and two. They're worth it. Um, Nancy says she found some on Pick Click going for $39.99. It's, um, it is uh, the Raggedy Ann and Andy wallpaper border. So, wow, that's pretty amazing. Anyway, Groot, I was going to keep, but he sells for like 15 bucks. So, I'm going to this one. Actually, I did not find, quite frankly, because this says not for retail sale. So this is some kind of promotional item that I'm going to list for 15 bucks. But even the similar sized groups were selling for about $15. So I was pretty impressed by that. And so was Groot. Um, I bought this Hisense um, remote control. I think we got this at the bins. I'm pretty sure that we did. And Hisense, in my opinion, is not a very good brand. It's made by, sold by Walmart. Um, I don't know that I would buy something called Hisense, but whatever. This remote's going for like $25, and it sells quite frequently. It sells for even more than that, actually, but I'm just going to try and get $25 bucks and be happy about it. So um, I'll test it all out and make sure it works, and it does. And um, i get that listed. Um, this is another, it's called Dura brand. Also another brand that I probably wouldn't buy. Um, actually I lied that high sense, high sense controller is $10. This Dura brand is the one that's selling for 25 and up. So, um, but for batteries in this one and test it, but, um, it's pretty gross. It's, it definitely needs to be cleaned up, but again, 25 bucks on that. I wouldn't have thought a Dura brand either would have brought that much money. Holly put this in the cart. We got this at the bins. I haven't checked it over, but um, to make sure all the discs are there and, or, and everything. But let's see. It's called Shonen Jump Bleach DVDs, and this will sell for 15 bucks. I didn't check it on Amazon. I may, I may do that there. I picked these up. This is a uh, BBC's Lord of the Rings uh, audiobook set, and it's on um, actually BBD audio, not BBC. BBD it, that was after, you know, BBC was first, BBD was later. But um, these look like they have not been handled very much at all, and I think I can get about 10 bucks for this. But I couldn't pass it up. It was Lord of the Rings. And I'm a nerd. Uh, Chris hooked me up with this. Really pretty. It's called Oriental Butterfly. And this will sell for 12 bucks. I got this at the bins. Um, this is Holly found this. It is a um, pro pro T701 thermostat. I think this has Wi-Fi. It's got everything. It may even start your car from inside the house. I'm lying. It doesn't. But um, um, yeah, this got this at the bins, and this sells for thirty dollars. And that should sell pretty quickly. Holly found Holly. Holly. Holly gets in there uh, in the trenches when she's at the the outlet, um, and. This is some Brother Ink, and we also found other ink cartridges that will fit a Brother printer. I think these might be color. Now that that one's black. Oh, no, they are black. Um, but anyway, they, I'm hoping to get, let's see, where did I write that down? Brother Ink, 30 bucks for all of this ink. I've got three of these off-brand ones. Three of these off-brand ones, and then this actual factory one. So thirty bucks for that. We're getting down to the nitty-gritty. Um, this is Willow Tree. 
this is called Sign for Love Ornament. I don't know if you guys know Willow Tree. We did not clear the bins out, <laughs> Kath, but Kath, but there we took a lot of stuff home. Chris's um, SUV was packed and our car was totally packed. This is Willow Tree. And um, oh, that is the American Sign Language sign for love. So definitely we'll use like hearing impaired in the keywords or American Sign Language or something. Um, but she should bring get it in here. Took it out now. I can get it back in there. Uh, maybe this way. Never mind. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, but anyway, I think that I can get about ten bucks for her. Okay, enough with the styrofoam already. Okay. Holly is a beast, and I mean that in the best way, Chris. You are absolutely right. And she did look rather cosmopolitan yesterday. She had her hair all done, her makeup all done, and. She was dressed, but she was in there throwing elbow at the bins. She's something else. All right. A couple more things. I did buy one clothing item. And uh, Chris, said, Chris said she uh, had a somewhat rude person say something smart to me, and she was about to take her outside. Yes. Yes, it did not go well. Um, this is a lamb's wool scarf. And it's Polo Ralph Lauren. And I'm hoping, I did not see this particular one sold, but what did I write down? 15 bucks for this really cool scarf. It's It's got a very Hogwarts kind of feel to it, doesn't it? Um, I picked, uh, picked up a bag of doorknobs, because why wouldn't you, really? I mean, if you had the chance, wouldn't you pick up doorknobs? These are Gainsborough, um, Australia, made by a hardware company there, and kind of pretty porcelain. And I do have six doorknobs, and I do have the, the what I like to call the guts, for in between, like that go in the door to latch it. And um, one of these is broken, but it's still okay. But I'm probably going to sell these. Probably going to sell these in a lot of four and then throw in the extra one. The extra one. Um, but I paid $4.99 for these and I'm hoping to get about $30, $20 to $30 for them. And it looks like I just have one more thing because the other thing that's left in there is the light. The other light fixture fixture um holly did go through a wardrobe change wardrobe change at one point she bought a jacket that she really liked and so she changed out of her coat into her jacket um i did buy another one of these hitachi um hey nevermore antiques is here thanks for joining um i did buy another one of these hot hitachi rice cookers it's called the chime omatic and i do have one currently in stock i think it's got a price somewhere around 60 bucks. I have sold this, sold one before. This one, unfortunately, has a leg missing. Um, it is an amputee, unfortunately, but um, I paid $1.99 for it, and I'm going to gut it. So uh, I'm going to sell the pan, the lid, and I may even go, who knows what else I may do. Um, I may take the handles off. I doubt it, though. It's probably not something. You're a little late in the game. That's okay. We're glad you're here. Uh, but um, anyway, for $1.99, I probably make 30 bucks on these two parts right here. So I didn't mind uh, that the bottom is broken. So let's see. Oh, I did buy one more thing that I did not factor in to... Um, my actual sales numbers, but check this out. Isn't that just fabulous? Um, this is actual st styrofoam life preserver, and it's probably a Hobby Lobby 
it is Hobby Lobby. Um, I paid five bucks for it. <clears throat> and I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I may just sell it locally. I don't know. I, could, I It's one of those stupid things I couldn't could not buy. I love the nauticals. But uh, since we're we since I gathered you all together, let me show you a couple of things that I just bought. Um, I picked these up, paid three four ninety nine for these, I believe, and these are made by a company called Sorrel. They're not in the best condition; they've been worn, but I still think I can get about thirty bucks reasonably on those without any any major issues. And about these couple of other things. There's always other things. You know, I'm trying to up my shoe game. I love shoes. Um, huh. Everybody's commenting on my two-legged rice pot par, uh, cooker. Um, that's a joke, isn't it? A two-legged rice cooker walked into a bar. Oh no. Um, so I picked up this pair of Clarks for $3.99. And I think I can get about 20 bucks out of those. And I picked up these Johnston and Murphy, probably about 30 bucks on these loafers, really nice leather loafers. I would, could probably get more, but there is some heel drag on these. So um, that's going to come into consideration. Um, this is a cool fish bowl that is actually missing probably a cat that looks down into the bowl. But I think what I may do is sell just the replacement bowl because these do sell fa fairly regularly um we'll see who knows but um i just thought it was really cute and i paid 3.99 for it i don't know i should never let my emotions lead oh the next thing you know you're holding on to doors and people are falling off of them uh freezing in the ocean and you're throwing the heart of the ocean overseas or overboard but i'm not quite that old yet and then the other thing i bought was this and i have to go through it all um but i'll enjoy doing i'll enjoy doing the research here josh said that even missing leg appliances need loving too it's true so i bought this big bin not the clock the actual bin um full of toys i paid 12.99 and these are actually transformers beast wars and this is megatron and he is worth about 30 bucks i think um and then there's just all manner of crazy looking this is an eagle i i don't I don't know. I like the Transformers. I grew up with the Transformers, but I don't know how to put these together properly. That's an Eagle Scout. No, it's an Eagle guy that has a, a lion face on one side and a monster face on the other side. And there's a little thing growing out of his neck. That... Oh, no. Broke it. it was just a growth growing out of his neck. Who needs that many heads, really? Our pet's heads are falling off. Um, this is some kind of weird bug thing. But um, what I could tell from just doing some quick research is that there are some $10 characters in here. And there are some better characters in here. And I just need to sit down and put them all together and, um, and see. Like, here's a bat dude. I just have to figure out how to like transform him without breaking but that's kind of cool um but anyway i do have some that are missing parts i don't know what these are um i do have some that are not like this is a constructicon it looks like and they're, so they're not from the same set. I don't think these are from the same set. But I, I would venture a guess that I probably have about $100 in this tub of toys. Well, there's 30 right there. Yeah, probably at least $100 in this tub of toys. But it's going to take some work to get there. 
Um, any questions about anything that I bought? Any comments? Any? My, my beans are smelling real good. I smell. Um, I put them in my pot. Um, you, you know, I, well, I can't sell the missing parts as parts because the parts are missing. So I can't really sell some. It's like, okay, so here's the picture. It's just a blank white screen. And I'm selling the missing part. That's priceless. They get nothing. They just get an envelope, an empty envelope. Uh, but I know what you mean, Josh. I, there are toys that are missing parts that I could probably sell. And I may lot those all together. And, um, and even throw them at auction. I don't even care. Um, the cool thing is that there were some assembly manuals when they're um, so we have one question from the peanut gallery, apparently that says, yeah, when you get going to get all those listed, like all that stuff listed. Well, let me tell you, Miss Nancy, um, I am going to start on this tomorrow morning and just work through it. So I probably still have, honestly, I probably still have about 15 items from the last haul that I did. Um, that I need to list. And those are the clothing items that I've put off a little. And um, I, um, yeah, I do. I do. I have some, um, but I, I do have some missing parts in there, but the parts aren't missing. The, the character they go to is missing. <laughs> I'm just messing with you, Josh. But anyway, um, I probably have about 15 from the last haul. That I did that I need to list. I have those three pairs of shoes and all of those toys to list. So what are we looking at? Like 80, 80, 100? I don't know. So we are, <laughs> you're absolutely right, Amalia. We are on a spending freeze until I can get all of the stuff listed. Um, and I've done fairly well about controlling myself um, with, you know, with like oh, going out every day and, and shopping. So I haven't been doing that. I have just um, said, you know, you need to list all this stuff first. I still have some pictures. I need to list on local. Um, you need to list this stuff first and then you can go out and shop again. And that seems to be working better for me. And those live listing shows really help, man. They really help. So we'll probably be doing a lot of that tomorrow. Um, so if you guys are around, Nancy says she's heard all this before, right? I do what I can, Nancy. I do what I can. And I don't beat myself up too bad if I feel the need to go spend something. But but lately I've been doing much better. I mean, there are times where I just want to go to the thrift store every day and I don't want to list. But uh, I've been doing much better. Uh, Nancy says, um, or Chris says she has a question. Uh-oh. These questions. Um, Josh says he wants to hire Nancy to be his life coach. What's that question, Chris? Oh. This ought to be good. Where is my pal, Linda? That's what I want to know. Everybody's picking on me. Uh. Yeah. I had a buyer message me about a shirt that he washed and it bled on the collar. You're supposed to take the dead body out of the shirt before you wash it. Um, but actually it is not your problem because he has now altered the item. And if he, if he does a, um, a return through eBay, you don't have to refund him. Because you sold him a used shirt, I'm assuming, that has been washed prior. And he altered the item by washing it. You can't control whether he, you don't know if he washed it in the right temperature. You don't know if he washed it with something that shouldn't be washed. You don't even, I mean, was the shirt supposed to be washed? Was it dry clean only? It is not your problem. That being said, what you choose to do about it is your business. If you want to let him go through eBay and, um, 
and let them deny his claim, that's fine. Um, if you want to take care of him or refund him partial or whatever, that's all, all about, that's all about you. That's, that's your choice. Uh, Tammy's probably right. He probably didn't read the instructions on how to wash it. And he washed it in hot water. And Chris says she didn't wash it because she would thought that it, that she was afraid it would bleed. Was a uh, not that nautica deep red, white and blue. Was it that um like that color block stripe kind of shirt? I mean that's a vintage shirt. It wasn't brand new. It has been washed before. I'm pretty sure that they didn't pay attention to the um to the, the washing instructions. I think Tammy's probably right. So, because I'm sure that that shirt would need to be washed in cold, honestly. So, yeah, valid question. So, um, I did pick up, I'm, I'm going to be a little stalkery. I did pick up for my, my customer that I sold the Barney bag to, um, and she sent me the nice, nice, nice letter. Even after I was a little snit to her, um, I picked up a couple of things for her today. Chris has another question. Okay. Tell me your another question. Um, I did pick her up some Barney. This still works. Barney book and a coloring book. She's got a, um, sounds like an eight year old autistic. Do I know the muffin man, the muffin man, the muffin man. Yes, I know the Muffin Man. He lives on Drury Lane. Thank you for asking. He's doing well. But um, so I am going to send her these Barney toys. I know that's a little stalkerish, but I still feel bad about being awful to her. And I wasn't even that bad. I just don't like being, I like to be my best self to customers and I can't always. Um, but I'm going to send her this in this vintage Barney lamp, like a night light that I have. So that'll make me feel better. And who doesn't like a nice surprise? So, um, yeah, Nancy, don't, don't let it get out that I'm kind of a soft touch because I would just rather be known as prickly. It's just easier. But anyway, um, that's none of my business. Um, anyhow, I thanks Thanks to everybody for being here. Um, oh yeah, it's enlarged. I'm sure I'm going to stroke out soon. It's only stalkerish if I deliver it in person. That would be kind of stalkery. Nancy said it's too late. It's too late to um, keep it under wraps that I'm a softie. Can't help it. Um, speaking of buyer issues, wasn't a buyer issue. It was more of a, a seller issue. So um, this, there you are. I have been waiting for you. Gosh. Anyway, um, I had, I know now Linda shows up. Um, I had a situation this morning where um, I do not have the part that the buyer ordered. And I did have an alternative part that I believe will fit. So I shipped him the alternative part with the note saying your model is this, but this is like a model previous. They're the same size. I believe they will fit and I refunded your money. Um, I, I mean, I hated doing that. I would rather have shipped him the right part, but I don't know if I sold, I don't know if I shipped the wrong part. Like if I switched these two items, cause they look very, very similar and their part numbers are very similar. So I'm wondering if, Somebody bought this one. And I shipped them this one and now I had to do the same thing, but I went ahead and, and refunded his money. Um, instead of taking a transaction defect. And I mean, I know that sounds a little shysty, but it, I mean, I, I did send him so, something I think will work. And I, um, and you know, I'm not <laughs> And a refund of his money, and I'm not getting a transaction defect. And I kind of hate that eBay puts us in that in that position. But you know, the inventory issue is my fault. So Chris also has a question for Linda. 
because she's got all kinds of questions today. She's full of questions today. I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting for this question. I, I can't wait. I'm like on the edge of my seat. I'm pretty excited. Oh, Sam says she doesn't think it's so horrible. And Josh says uh, he's been known to buy an item from someone else and ship it to them. I don't like doing that. <laughs> um, but you will. And I've drop shipped like that too when I've gotten myself into a position. Um, but I, you know, I don't like doing that either. And since I think I have a part that will work, um, you know, I'd rather do it that way. Yes. I lost money, but I don't want the, I don't want the defect. And Chris's important question for Linda is, do you know the way to San Jose? La, 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 la. And actually Linda does know the way because she's from California. So how convenient. So, um, are we there yet says sometimes you just got to make a judgment call. And it, it's true. Sometimes you do. Um, and as long as you've protected the customer, which I have, you know, he's been made whole. Um, I'm sorry. I'm just watching the chat. Uh, he's been made whole. Um, you know, he's getting a part that I believe that will work and I didn't get a, a defect. Um, Chris <laughs> says she didn't say it was an important question. It was just a question. Okay. So it's about quarter after four and um, uh, Linda says she only lived in California for about 40 years. Um, that's it. But I, uh, I think I'm going to go cause I, although it's, it's Valentine's day. Um, my husband doesn't expect anything ever on Valentine's day or his birthday or anything like that. But um, I think I'm going to go, whip up a cake or stop and buy him a cake, which I might do. He likes cake. And you know, the, the gift that keeps on giving, cause he gave me a hundred dollars towards my mixer, which I love. Um, the gift that keeps on giving, giving is ammunition. So I think I'm going to run to Dick's sporting goods and get him a few boxes of ammo. Um, and, uh, he'll like that. He'll like that nice little surprise. So I think that's what I'm going to do, um, for his, you know, cause why not ammunition? You know, um, but that's what I've got for the rest of the day. Now you guys, uh, what about parfait? Everybody loves parfait. You're right. Everybody does love, love parfait. You ever, you ever had anybody say, Hey, you want a parfait? Let's, let's not. But anyway, um, I am going to be doing, um, we don't really do so much, but a cake is just good for everyone. And same with ammo, of course. Right, exactly. Um, do you know the kind of ammo to buy? So I know two pieces of information, Nancy. One, it's on sale. And two, it's nine millimeters. So as long as I don't need to know anything other than that, um, I will just buy the ammunition. But if I don't know, I'll just buy him a gift card while I'm there and he can go buy the ammunition. And you're right, Chris. Nobody says I love you like it, like am no, nothing says I love you like ammo. Exactly. He'll love it though. I mean, he'll love it more than any other incredibly personal give, gift I could get him like t-shirts or underwear or socks. He'll love ammo. So how about loading them? No, nope, I got nothing, Nancy. You know, I'm not a, you know, I'm not a, um, a gun kind of girl. Um, so anyway, I am going to do a live listing show tomorrow. So I hope that you guys can join and keep, we'll keep each other motivated and we'll work through some stuff. And, um, I will post the link in the Facebook group and I'll also post it, um, on Instagram as well. And, uh, if you guys want to join, I would love to have you, but, um, let's say our goodbyes because I am going to go and, uh, you guys need to get back to listen to, and there's supper and there's kids and there's, you know, husbands and wives and all kinds of stuff and dads and moms. And yeah. All right. Well, Nancy says she'll be there. That's good enough for me. I'll be there. Nancy's good people. Um, thank you guys all for being here. You guys are so wonderful. Um, yes, honey, it will be a live show on YouTube. So you can just come and hang out. And um, uh, there are times where there's just dead. It's just 
dead air because everybody is working. And sometimes we're talking and um, sometimes it's, um, it's um, us asking questions of each other. So it's really good. Kathy's going back to bed. <laughs> good for you, Kathy. Uh, thank you all for being here. Uh, bye bye. Just remember that the dream works when you do. So keep dreaming and keep working and I'll see you guys the next time. Bye.